required to exercise the highest epitome of financial management. And uh, looking at uh, what you furnish us with, Professor, declaration of wealth. Uh, first of all, Chair, I think we need to also make a clarification to this uh, uh, net worth issue. Because uh, even Kimani Chunga will agree with me, net worth is your total assets minus total liabilities. But I think what has been quoted before is not the case. Nevertheless, if you look at your, what you've quoted, family home, farm with house, holiday home, basically those are homes. A total, whether it's a family home, holiday home, leisure home, there are homes. Uh, the total is 400 million. Somebody will ask, before even going to the rest, out of 941, 400 goes to homes. Is this the advice you are going to give to Kenyans, that half of your health is ho a home? Uh, because that's where management of resources and uh, the gauge to how you can run our economy, it starts with you as an individual. Uh, you look at the the list of the he wealth. I don't know whether you came here by walking, because there's no car listed. But according to my knowledge, a car is an asset. And this is the Ke a person Kenyans wants to see exercising the highest epitome of financial management. And it starts with what you present to this committee. I want you to clarify, even these shares, piece of agriculture land, how many acres, investment financial instrument, what is the shares or dividends? Investment in, through family company, 400 million. What is it that is 400 million? Shares in a bank, which bank? Imperial, which, which one is this bank? So this is how a Kenya is going to gauge of the individual that is going to be at the highest financial management institution. Really, we need to be serious. Uh, Miss, you have made statement. What is your question? I, yes. One, whether he owns a car, because not stated there. Two. But is he obligated to own a car? There are many people who don't own cars. The, the statement My, the of The most assets. distinguished lawyer called John Hamino doesn't know how to drive, doesn't own cars, but he travels. <laughs> I think the professor can just answer what he can on my, my description. He knows what I'm talking about. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Speaker. Uh, yeah. uh, Honorable Camino, your friend doesn't own those kinds of homes also. Those <laughs> homes require cars. <laughs> uh, Naisula, in the last, in this batch. Thank you, Chair. I promise not to weep or be long in this one. So, to the nominee, the number of unemployed youths in Kenya 